we put more money as budget into agriculture than in services industry. But services produces more money for the taxpayer, for the tax authority, than agriculture. Now, the linkage between agriculture and, and, and e-commerce is automatic, it's obvious. First of all, there are some things already happening in Kenya, like Sokoni intelligence, that you can know which market exists for what product at what price. That is a phenomenon that is liberating. But perhaps the most important liberation you already have from electronic, I mean, internet access and agriculture is the fact that the traditional African woman who toiled every morning, milked her cow, delivered milk at a, at a collection point, always received payment sent to the account of the owner of the land where the cow is kept, her husband. M-Pesa allows the woman who delivers milk to receive money to her mobile phone. It makes a whole lot of difference to the livelihood of a family and of the woman when there is direct appropriation of the proceeds of her labor. That is technology into agriculture. There are so many different things globally. The future of agriculture is totally intricately related to big data, both in terms of trends of the consumer preferences, in market access phenomena, but Africa has a problem. We pay so much attention. We mobilize so much of our intellectual resources, negotiating how to sell to Europe, coffee and tea to Europe. And when the biggest opportunity is how to sell maize to Uganda. The biggest market for African agriculture is in Africa. The biggest challenge to African agriculture is how to reduce the on-farm storage and the attendant waste in the post-harvest period. The biggest political problem is how to stop the opportunistic middleman who buys at a supply ad at a buyer's market when families need school fees in January and the cereal's board has not paid, he buys at a quarter the price of what he's buying from the farmer three months later. Dealing with storage and cushioning the farmer from the middleman. These are challenges that a combination of sound policy and ICT-based knowledge solutions can, can, can deal with, and it's already working. Globally, you know, projections of, of, of weather conditions and how it influences shifting in different forms of agriculture. How Mauritius abandoned growing wheat and went to sugarcane because of greater resilience after a storm. These are all the, the basics of what's already happening and can be scaled up.